Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zuckerberg Gardens. I'm just doing a quick video today uh, since there's still a little bit of smoke outside here in California, in central California. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video on uh, something that was asked of me when I showed him a picture of my mint. This variety is called Mint the Best in sense it's the best smelling and best tasting which I would have to agree um, hence why they call this variety mint the best um, the question that was brought up to me they go you know when I plant uh, notice I planted in a pot and so is this a uh, mint here called Habeck uh, I do not plant mint in the ground and other gardeners would know why you plant this in the ground this will grow everywhere as you can see the shoots growing out roots comes up so if I planted it here it would cover my whole my whole garden but the question was brought up to me is you know I'll, you know I see maybe down there a little hole the tip of this one and that might be it but all the varieties of mint I grow I don't usually get bug bites and they're like, you know, when I plant my mint, even in a pot, people would tell me, it'd be full of worms or, you know, aphids, you know. How do you have yours that basically blemish free? You know, this went through hot heat too as well here in Central California and still thriving, still looking great. There's a secret I do every week. Uh, not every week, almost every week. I come here and I get my, out of my raised bed, I get my yellow habanero peppers, not much of them. I mean, there's a lot growing here. There's like maybe, I guess a hundred peppers on this one pepper plant, some Fresno chili, and then some garlic here. Even the chives I'll use. Um, and I boil them and put them in a spray bottle, the juice, you know, the, the, the boiled water, I let it cool off and put it in the spray bottle after it cools off. And there, about every 10 days I spray this plant. Very diluted. I add water as well, so it's not, I taste it myself and it's just, just a little bit of a sting, it's not bad. And uh, I spray this plant and this one as well. And uh, so, in the sense that when insects crawl or bite the leaf, they're burning their mouth, their mouth part. Or um, people told me, oh, they don't, they don't taste, they don't have uh, receptors like that. Well, I don't know. I haven't read a lot about it, but all I know is, if they didn't have receptors, why don't the caterpillars or worms eat the grass? Why do they eat the herbs? Because it tastes better, in my opinion. If that's the truth or not, I don't know. All I know is that what I'm doing is working. So I'm a visual learner and visually I'm learning that they don't like that spray. Because when I used to use mint and not spray it like that, it would have bug bites. So that's my little tip. Um, hope it works for you guys if you want to try it. Um, people may say, oh, it's going to be hot when you use it fresh. You just wash it off and that, that sensation, that stinging sensation from heat is gone. All right, everyone. Have a nice day. Happy gardening. Bye.